Hello and welcome to Love Island the morning after the only official Love Island podcast out there. Today, joining me, we have the world-class comedian, <laughs> Kay Kurd. Hey, I'm doing my best for Ronnie today. And yeah. former Islander or dumped Islander, babe, I've been there, don't worry, <laughs> is Tiffany Layton. Oh. Hello and welcome. Last night's episode was... It was a busy one. There's lots to talk about. I'm actually quite there's excited. There's a lot to get into. Let's dive straight in, head first, into the swimming pool, hoping there's water in there. I'm waffling already. It's a great start. <laughs> so, <laughs> Tiffany, welcome. Hi, thanks. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. You thanks look very great. happy that you're not with Ronnie anymore. Straight in, Kate. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? No, I feel really, really good. Obviously, like, it was a nice time in there and I had fun, but... I'm not mad that I'm not there anymore, to be honest. Like, the thing with Ronnie wasn't for me, and like, okay. I wish him all the best, but like, I'm not upset about How it. How did you, you feel know? when he was, because he had women fighting over him? He did. Right? He did, How did yeah. you feel when he picked you? Or did you feel a bit the chosen special? one? Yeah. You're like Neo in the Matrix. He said I was the prize. So yeah, I was like, oh, well, but. I thought Jess was the prize. No, that's what she calls herself. Ah. It's like when wrestlers <laughs> name themselves. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, obviously it was nice, but like you can't force it if you don't fancy someone, can you? So when did you realize like that thing was missing, that spark was missing? What was it that really made you go, oh? I don't know, like it'd been like a few days and I was like, well, there is something missing. So I was trying. I thought maybe he can like grow on me. <laughs> and it, it just did it not grow on you? <laughs> it didn't grow on me, no. But like, obviously, like he's lovely and stuff, and like we got on really, really well. But like for me, just like the sexual chemistry just wasn't really there. That's really a tough pill to swallow, though. May I interject? Hearing yeah. that, and you did tell him that as well. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. That's a ballsy guy. move. I couldn't hear that personally. Bruce I think I, a massive ego yeah. bruise. Have you ever heard that from a no, girl? No, no, no. I get what I want. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it is one of those that you've just got to take it on the chin, don't you? You've mm. just got to be like, yeah, no, no, yeah, it's no. A it's a gin job, yeah. It's fine. But afterwards, you have to just sort of like, you know, swallow your pride and just go, all right, yeah, maybe. But he's all right. He went back to Harriet, didn't he? On that subject, <laughs> Ronnie <laughs> and Harriet, you're out of the triangle now. Yeah, How do you feel about all of that? now being a spectator of it. I was so shocked. I can't believe that she would take him back, to be honest. I was Really? Like, well, I just think he like really like obviously massively disrespected her and then mm. now they're just like fine again. But What is it with Ronnie? Does he smell really nice? It's the fragrance. Yeah, I said this a yeah, few episodes ago. Yeah, what is he yeah. wearing? He wears Libby. He does smell good. So in bed you that. were like... But he's Ooh. mixing that with pure pheromones, right? Yeah. Do you ever feel the urge to lick his neck for no reason? <laughs> no, that was the problem. Not you personally, yeah. It was the sexual chemistry yeah, that wasn't the issue. That doesn't make yeah. sense. But, yeah. it, but you were like, oh, he does smell nice, so this yeah, is bearable. Yeah, he gave me some. It was really nice. I like, he did smell good, to be fair. Mm. So you're happy to be outside of the triangle now? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to just watch from a distance, you know, and mm. I wish them all the best. Hopefully they make it. If you'd have been in Harriet's boat and yeah. Bonnie... Did the old U oh, turn? Absolutely would, not. Would, you know, I didn't even need to finish the sentence. No. Yeah. She knows what I'm saying. I would yeah. never have ever, ever, ever in a million years. Mm. I think that was so. No. But. What do we think of that? Like, what? How would you deal with that situation? Oh, me. If you don't want me, by blocked. In it. Off of yeah. 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 Just let's. Go. But in there, you I'm can't the really block anybody, can you? No. So it's just. I genuinely feel somebody's disrespected you once. What prevents them from doing it again? Yeah. Definitely. Especially on Love Island, when a bombshell could walk in at any moment. Mm. If they've already had their head turned once, chances are that it's probably going to turn again. Mm, so, they do say that. Yeah. Once a cheater, always yeah, a cheater. Exactly. He's not really a cheater, but the sentiment is there, isn't it? Yeah. Do no, he I mean? doesn't like he making swerved. women cry. You shouldn't make a woman and cry, ever. <laughs> Words of Ronnie, while he <laughs> makes women that, cry. made me cry. Very good point. <laughs> you nearly made him cry, though. That oh, was a... no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you friends with any of the girls now? Like, Yeah, so like, obviously I went in with Grace. I said like, she's probably like, the one I was closest to. Uma, Jess, Nicole, they're all like lovely. You're still going to be pals on the outside? Yeah, You're gonna I think meet so, up. when they come out. Are you going to go to Bagatelle with the girls when you get out? Yeah, I'll go to Bagatelle with the girls, yeah. Can we go? <laughs> of course you can, yeah. It's time to dish out our pre-love serves of the week with official headline sponsor, eBay. Bombshell will kick things off by stepping out into the villa in a tropical Tasso Elba Island shirt. He scored another win, coupling up with Umar in her fire rat and boa starburst dress and this dusty jacket. A classic pick worn by Shaq and Tom in Series 9, Mehdi in Series 10 and Adam during All-Stars. Kind of jealous I didn't get to wear it because that pink would have looked ravishing on me during the villa parties. Meanwhile, old flames were rekindled for Joey and Grace in the hideaway with Joey wearing this Givenchy t-shirt. Just another week of pre-love summer. Discover more villa-inspired looks on eBay today. Fashion fit for a second chance. eBay, sponsors of Love Island. 
Jess admitted last night that she wears male aftershave to intimidate men. What are your aftershave proclivities like? Jess smells really good to be fair. Yeah? Do you feel intimidated by her? Mm, I suppose sense. you're not a man. Who so. smells better, her or Ronnie? Same they, fragrance. They, they both smell <laughs> nice. It's probably giving her some. Well, he's given a lot of people some, by the sounds of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> quick question for issue. you, Ed, on the yeah. fragrance thing. Yeah. Have you ever smelt a woman that's wearing a man's fragrance and felt scared by No, that? I wear scents that are sometimes feminine. And I'll be honest, the inverse of that does not work. I'm not attracted to you in the slightest. Exactly. But you do smell a bit like a girl. Yeah, but... And I like it. If I like it, I like it. So I don't have a problem with that. I, I think, think Jess is probably using the fact that her fragrance is intimidating it without having a level of understanding about what else may be intimidating about her personality to men. That's actually really a good point. And let's go over to Tiffany with that. Like, How did you find that firsthand? Is she quite an intimidating character? I wouldn't say she's intimidating, but she is quite like a bold, like, you wouldn't want to mess with Jess, do you know what I mean? Like, she's quite like... I really wouldn't want to be told off by her. Yeah, Yeah, but that's the thing. I feel like what's happened is, right, she's gone up to somebody and gone, do you find me intimidating? What is it intimidating about me? And they've gone, uh, uh, your smell. Like, Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Like, they didn't want to say the real thing. Now she's just wrong with that. She's wrong with it. Because actually, like, her line of questioning, if you notice this, when she speaks to boys, she peppers them with questions. Yes. It's a LinkedIn post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boys are not even answering the questions before she's moved on to the next. She's not listening to the answers. (laughs) That is not good active listening. Absolutely not. She loves aggressive flirting. I feel like she flirts a little bit like how a lady that works on the till in Waitrose might flirt. <laughs> well, she works at MS. On the tills, though. I don't think she works on the tills. I think she's a manager there. Shop floor. That makes sense. She was telling us in the villa, like, she's had to deal with like, a lot of disciplinaries. Mm, that sort of thing, yeah. I get the vibe. She's very good at telling people off. Yeah. Do you she, know what I mean? I think, yeah. I think she takes pleasure in telling you you can't get the dates you wanted for your holiday. <laughs> I think. No, that's been overbooked, actually, so you can't have that. Yeah. Or on the day of your first holiday, she's messaging you saying, where are you? I'm in the villa. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I'm on Love Island. Yeah. Who do you want to win it? Because I know a few days ago you said you wanted Grace and Joey. You were rooting for yeah, them. Mm, does that still the same? Well, I mean, after tonight's episode, I'm a bit like, why is he moving mad for? But like, I still think they're so cute. I feel like they'll come back together, but I don't think this... Do you think? Was Grace together. really into him, or is that just... I was like, oh my God, like Barbie and Ken. They were like all over each other. They were both like so in love. Yeah, okay. So they look good, is what we're saying. Aesthetically yeah, together, babies. they look great. The ba- if, with those beautiful. eyes, are you kidding me? But actually in reality, like how well were they actually getting on? Because I think Joey's saying that they've not had enough chats and Grace is saying that she's not getting that family chat vibe. So that probably like deeper level of chat. Like, what's your experience of that like in the villa firsthand? They were just all over each other all the time. Mm, I mean, yes. I'm not really sure what sort of chats <laughs> yeah. they were having. It's a bit were hard to ask it? somebody what your mum's like when you've yeah. got your tongue down. Tongue and and like, so what's your mum like? Yeah. What's your dad like? There's a time like, and a place you know I mean? and it's yeah. not when you're, you're tonsil diving, is exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. I, I think where they've been so physically attracted to each other, it feels yeah. like they haven't spoke about anything of substance. So yeah. are we saying it's lust over love then? That's what it looks like from the outside. I don't know. Tiffany probably got a different view. They're definitely not lacking on the sexual chemistry, them two, but... Could you ever have too know. much sexual chemistry? I think you can. Yeah, I think you can. Because it gets to a point where it's debilitating. You can't do any work. <laughs> yeah, you can't do any work done. You're distracted. <laughs> You're walking around knocking things over. I won't go into any detail about that. Yeah, no, I genuinely don't think that they've had time to do it because they've just been focused on kissing each other. And you saw when they were trying to make up, he kept on going for the kiss. Oh, mate, yeah, don't talk to me about weird. that hug, yeah. though. That yes. hug was pure like McLovin from Superbad. Yes. He didn't know where to put his hands, yes. his arms, his lips. He went full Sean. <laughs> he went full Sean and it was like, this is where it all got very confusing for me because yeah. Grace pulled him for a chat and Grace was adamant that, you know, you can't treat me like this. This isn't going to happen. Yeah, and so then- they did this weird, awkward hug and he kept trying to kiss her while she's made this point. She where- stayed strong for a minute. For a minute, yeah. yeah. And then he kissed her, he kissed her and then they got up and he goes, I've missed you. She goes, I've missed you too. And then they went in for a It was almost like at that kiss. point they yeah. were off camera, but they yeah. weren't off yeah. camera. Yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't As if know somebody I'm... had gone, end scene. Yeah, right? yeah, and... scene, yeah, yeah, carry on yeah. being normal now. And especially in front in of... In front of Jesse, yeah. yeah. I'm just so... And she still picked him. I'm so confused. <laughs> what goes on in the villa to make you actually accept things like that? Well, I wouldn't accept anything like that. <laughs> I think it's on an individual basis, really. It just depends what your boundaries are, I suppose. And clearly the boundaries aren't really that strong. strong. Yeah, because obviously you guys have been in there. So I'm sometimes I look at things like that and I'm like... 
Maybe it's because if you're into somebody and they've disrespected you, yeah. on the outside, you could just be like, well, yeah. right, yeah. that's it. Unfollowed, whatever, deleted. Yeah, 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 but yeah. But in there, they're just sort of there and you're like, it's not like you're looking at them on WhatsApp like, why are they online? Yeah. You're seeing them there and you're like, do you know what? Oh, well, maybe we can make it work. Maybe it doesn't yeah. have to be well, that's, the I end. Think you hit the nail on the head yeah. there. It's the proximity in it because what you can't get away from is how close you are to yeah. everyone. And you've seen it time and time again in different seasons where you've watched people like end it in that yeah. situation and then like they're saying, oh, I'm staying strong. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And you just literally watch them slowly go back. I remember watching Tyreek and I thought, he's going to be the first ever guy to do this. He's not going to go back. But then he still yeah. did. Yes. Because inevitably, you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Mm. As you know. Like you can't yeah. leave and go and chat to another man. You're stuck in that position. It's very intense in there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. And if you do, you end up leaving yeah, because there's me. nobody really there for you. Is it too soon for a big, grand... I'm leaving. Is it too soon for that? <laughs> I don't think they need that yet, but I do think there's still more to come from Grace. And I feel like, again, I'll go back to what I said, I'm disappointed in Connor, but there's more to come from Grace because the way he went and got Jesse and took her to the terrace and stuff, and he was surprised when... So much has <sighs> I happened don't even tonight know what with Joey. Thinking. I can't even process My this. favorite part of tonight's episode... <laughs> was when Jesse picked Joey and Joey had his hands on his chest like, me? <laughs> me? Am I? Am I the problem? What? I, I never knew that. Am I the drama? Like, yeah. He was baffled, uh, wasn't he? And to make matters worse, Will was over there going, oh, she's going to pick me. Yeah, like, yeah. She's going to pick me. And Uma's like, she better not pick you. The thing is with Joey, he's been like Ansel and Gretel for the last three days, leaving, not even breadcrumbs, he's been leaving loafs yeah. for Jesse who's come yeah. in, like loafs of clues. Like, yes, I'm open to this. He's actually been saying that. And then he must have clocked that he's like the only person talking to her, right? Apart yeah. from Will, which is kind of like surface level chats. Yeah. And then... He's absolutely gobsmacked in the moment when she calls his name out. Mm. I'm still to this very moment shaking with confusion. Yeah. Same, and I just feel bad for Grace because I feel like she like didn't explore it with Omar and then now Joey's doing this and it's like she could have... Because Joey went in quite hard on Grace for the Omar situation. Yeah. So when I see Joey Essex, right, this is beef. I feel disrespected yeah, right yeah, now, yeah? yeah. <laughs> because the way he has gone on in that villa, he's confused me to a level now. He's got, I think he's confused the whole of the UK, yeah, mate. Yes, and I feel like if I see him in real life, I'm going to have to be like, mate, can I just pull you for a chat? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I feel like you really confused me. And I don't, nobody does that to me, yeah. all right? So like, and it was when he took Jesse to the terrace and then he was just like, oh, I wanted you to pick me. I really wanted you. I'm so yeah. glad this has happened. I lost it at that point because... I was He's just been like, saying, miss you. Oh, man. Yeah. I can't. Any thoughts? <laughs> he, he's just moving mad. But I was just a bit shocked because I literally thought Joey was like obsessed with Grace. So the fact that he's even like entertaining this new girl, I'm just a bit like, eh? But that's the craziest thing because that's what it looks like from the outside yeah. and apparently the inside. Yeah. How are the two not married? Yeah. You know, what is going on in the brain of Joey Essex? Well, I mean, <laughs> this has been a question people have been trying to answer for about 15 many years. Many moons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so. many moons. I'm going to make a prediction. All of my predictions so far have been very wrong, but I actually think Grace might be the first person to book the trend on this and actually stay strong in her decision and not return to Joey if he tries to U-turn it. A pattern has emerged with how Joey's acted in mm. the villa. Yeah. So it was the same thing with Sam. It's the same thing with Grace. It's the same thing with Jesse. Mm. He likes to know that he can get the good-looking girl. But once he's got the good-looking girl... He might be girl, on here, yeah. yeah. He just goes, all right, well, this is boring, isn't it? And then, like, he wants to go on to the next thing. He likes a new shiny toy I all think, the time. And it's a continuing, never-ending right. cycle. I think it's like he likes... The side thing danger of yeah, it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The excitement in the moment yeah. of potentially yes. getting into trouble for yeah. it. When Grace pulls back, watch how he lathers it on again with oh, Grace. Yeah. Oh, He'll be back with Grace, 100%. Yeah. I've got another theory on this actually as well that I've just realised because if you think about the chats that happened after they ended up in the bottom three, Joey was very much kind of like putting it onto Grace yes. that they were in the bottom three. He yes. was kind of saying, oh, it's the Omar chat. So I think now Joey is pretty convinced that the problem might be Grace. Yeah, and he does And that's yeah. why he's like, mm, am I better off in another couple now? Do I jump ship? How funny is it where you don't realise you're the problem? Genuinely, I think you're onto something, but he's not that calculated at times as well. I think he's just literally like, do you know what I mean? Like yeah, whenever shiny something, things. Yeah, shiny, shiny thing, things. like moves yeah, over yeah, there yeah. and then goes back. Now it's time for the best Sky Mobile me, me, me moments. This series has been full of Islanders embracing their me, me, me energy and we've been obsessed. Let's count down the best moments so far where our Islanders have put themselves and their needs first. In third place, we have Jess knowing she's the prize. Who? Remember, I am the prize. Know your worth, you are the prize. 
And second place goes to Mimi choosing to steal Io. So the boy I've decided to steal is Io. Yes, Mimi. And the current number one moment is Uma and Harriet talking about standing on business. Like, think about what you want to do. That's what's best for yourself. Because I'm thinking about the way that I've looked at it is, is what's best for me, you know? And then stand on business. Cheers to that, Queen. Cheers to that, baby. Personally, I'm here for that advice. Sky Mobile is a network that lets you to switch your phone and data plan to suit you. Switch to Sky Mobile today. So let's move on to the Kieran and Harriet fallout, because this has been very dramatic, yeah, to say the least. So a lot of things have been said behind people's backs. Yeah. Kieran has taken it upon himself to say it directly to Harriet's face. And I face. respect it. I also respect it. Do we respect it? Yeah, I respect it. Yeah, I feel like Kieran is quite like honest. When I was in there, he's obviously mm. just, like says what's on his mind. He doesn't really beat around the bush or anything like that. My favourite part of this whole argument has been when Harriet was like, yeah, but you like literally wear like slippers all the time. What and I, kind of <laughs> that was retort like, was that? Yeah, exactly. I was like, what yeah, slippers are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, slippers way? are cute. They're like actual like Grendo slippers. They're actually nice. I love that. Has he got a pipe yeah. as well? No. <laughs> I'd have loved it if it was an ensemble. <laughs> it's such a like primary school insult. Like, oh my God, you're wearing slippers to school kind of thing. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Where it was like... Oh, he, you're wearing plimp cells. Yeah, exactly. In PA. It was, it was like... When you have I've to pick it some... from the lost property back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another thing that really surprised me there was the way Matilda started acting. Now, this showed a different mm. side to Matilda to me that I hadn't seen before, where it felt like last night she was stirring it because... She heard what Kieran said. She said, run it back. Yeah, and she laughed. I was like, ha, ha, what did you say? Kieran repeated it. And then now she's accusing other people of stirring it. And it's like... To the girls as well. Yeah, and it's like... Where is this, this going again? There's a lot of confused lines on girl code this season, I'm finding. I don't what, know. I mean, what, you've got to school us on girl code. Yeah, what is girl code on? in girl, that Help us both understand girl code. I don't really understand because like in there, like all the girls are like dead quiet. It's like everyone was like really good friends and yeah. stuff. I mean, obviously like it's all a bit awkward when like, they want each other's man and stuff. But yeah. like on the whole, everyone's like close. But in the episode last night, it was like Jess and Nicole and Harriet were like all not speaking. And they're still not made up, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, because what I notice a lot in the uh, girls' changing area, I always see Jess having like a little dig or an eye roll or something like that, normally towards Harriet. Mm. Did you clock that whilst she was in there? Did you pick up on that? Like, was yeah. there tension? I feel like, obviously, because they're both interested in Ronnie and stuff, so it's yeah. always been like a bit of like a love-hate relationship competition with thing, them. Yeah. I do feel like, on the whole, they do like get on and stuff. Mm. Like... They do, like, support each other. So I'm sure they'll make up and it'll be squished, like, in a few days or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously, it's kind of escalated because Harriet's now saying that she's never going to talk to Kieran again. Yeah. What do you reckon That's to that? That's a bit of a sticky one, isn't it? I feel like, for the sake of everyone in the villa, you kind of have to, like, squish it because otherwise it's just going to create, like, an awkward divide and stuff. And mm. obviously, she's with Ronnie as well and Kieran and Ronnie are friends, so, you like, you don't want any, like, beef between them yeah. two. I think if Omar and Joey could squash their beef... <clears throat> yeah, I well, I mean, that's Harry a whole different thing, isn't it? He kind of got cut short. I don't think we saw that beef develop. <laughs> it left medium rare. But then also now we've got Ronnie and Kieran on a whole different hype where Ronnie's sort of deciding whether he's going to be fuming at Kieran, whether he steps in... I don't it's a think, big mess. This. Ronnie's retort was really funny to me. It was like, she's first choice now. It doesn't work now. like that, mate. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> doesn't work like that, mate. And it was almost like the worst timing to say that as well. Like, yeah... He's not really got a leg to say. I, I almost feel like he has to apologise to Harriet as well in this situation. Mm, yeah. So, if he didn't say that, if she's first choice now, then she probably would have got the arm that he didn't back her or anything. So he probably thought he was doing a favour by saying that. He could have mm. just gone, Kira, mate, that's not on. Yeah, true. I feel like there was better ways of saying it. That, I think it's I one think of those things. I think that's a fair approach yeah. to take mm. as well. Yeah. Listen, bro, I think you went in a bit hard Exactly. There. Yeah. I think like, even if I wasn't involved in that, I would have probably said, I get it, but like, that yeah. was a bit tight. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Exactly, and then, yeah. That's my opinion on it. Yeah. You do. I'm not mad at you. You do your thing, yeah. whatever. But he's, he's thought of the first thing that comes into his head and gone, this is going to be like so good. This is classic first Turbo choice. Ronnie. <laughs> first yeah, choice now, mate. He's oh. one good of his words. Is he like, do you remember that Ray Copeland speech with Jess? No, he does struggle. We're sitting yeah. in about this. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, said he's not good with words. But maybe if you're not good with words, you should, <laughs> you should stay thing, silent yeah. in such a situation. Wouldn't uh, be as great a show if he stayed silent. I, I want to see Turbo Ronnie gold, miming mate. throughout the whole thing, just loads of. <laughs> that would be interesting. Lots of finger pointing and dancing. Yeah. Right. Anyway, let's move on to Jess and Trey. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's nice Jess has got someone. Like, she deserves someone. She's, like, been waiting for a while, so I think it's nice. Yeah. yeah. And he seems like he's into her, so mm. that's good. He's fresh into the villa, and mm. she's already basically told him, <laughs> I've got my lingerie out for you. <laughs> like, what was the phrase she used? I think it was something along the lines of, I've got my lingerie out for you, which hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> but personally, if I'm being told by a girl that her lingerie is dusty and moth-bitten, I don't know how turned on there's, by there's, that there's I am. There's cobwebs in there, but I'm sure I can get them out for you. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt a bit it's like... It's been 35 years. <laughs> I don't know if that's something you should be admitting. Her flirting is a bit full on. It mm. is a bit like, you know, she. I've seen her say, I'm going to rip your clothes off. I'm going to do this. Didn't she say that all those other bitches should stay away from you or something like that? But say from your perspective, would you say that about a man? Oh, I think that's a bit early on to be saying that. But then I do I think like with him, like he's kind of gone in there all eyes for Jess. Like, do you think he's like playing a game? Like he's not getting to anyone else. She's quite a strong character in mm. there. Like, is he just like playing like the easy card? Don't know. You do see that. I think he's listened to a couple of these episodes mm. and he's gone for my theory of geography, Greece, <laughs> love. <laughs> right? And he's gone. She's close to where I Do you love her? No, but she's two minutes down the road, so it's actually very convenient. And he's had a look at Kieran and Nicole, sorry, and gone, do you know what? I think in the geography wars, we can win this. It's uh, a solid strategy, I will <laughs> yeah. say. He described her as powerful yesterday. Yeah. And having seen how she's moved today around him, I think powerful is an understatement. Mm. I think she's leading a lot of the chat with him and a lot of the flirting. Like, when you're flirting with boys, do you sort of like let the boy lead or do you lead the flirting? Like, how do you deal with that tip? I feel like I let them lead and then I like see what the vibe is and kind of go, I just don't want to like stick it on to you. Vic, do you know what I mean? I tend to agree with that. Like, if I can see there's a bit of interest from the girl, I'll stop flirting. Yeah. My version of flirting, which yeah. is, let's be honest, quite weird. But <laughs> I think I am leading it. Do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to imagine. You ever been on the weakest link? <laughs> just like, <laughs> just, just something. You ever used ass jeeps? <laughs> That's normally how I start. But yeah, she's leading the flirting. I'm all for Powerful. that. I'm all for yeah. that. But I think, think about flirting, you've got to see whether someone's going to give it back to you. Yeah, yeah. And we saw Will flirting with Jesse. We did. Which was, I don't, it's I don't know where that came from. Yeah, yeah he's moving And mad. then 20 minutes later, he's there on his front with Uma on his back. Liberty. And they're doing, this is relationship stuff you do when you've already been on a holiday together. She, he was popping spots on his back. Now, I thought, how are you flirting with somebody else when you're letting someone pop spots on your back? Yeah, I mean, I agree with the sentiment of what you're saying, but I'm going to play devil's avocado. I really like popping spots and I enjoy having my spots popped. And I would quite happily let a girl that I've known for less than a day do that if she's game for it. I'm the one that sits there on YouTube late at night watching Dr. Spot Popper. Fair and enough. And then crying myself to sleep, but that's a whole different Fair issue. I, I think it's a level of intimacy. I feel like, yeah. That, you know, you've got to have been through several stages to get to. What do you think? Yeah. I need to, like, be married and be a wife. If you married want, and wife? If you want me to, like, be popping your the spots. The expectation yeah. on it. Yeah. I feel okay. like, Tiffany, you need to be in grey joggers for you to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah with that gentle curve. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just think, no, I'm not popping no spots. But she's doing that for him and then he's moving like that and saying... He moved before. She and did he not. even said to her, I think she's going to pick me. Yeah, because Uma's reaction was quite funny to me because she was like, she's well, fuming. she better not. Mm. But she never asked, well, why would she think yeah, that? Yeah, why would she think that, yeah? Why would she think that, Will? Why? Mm. I just can't believe that he's even, like, open to Jesse's friends because, like, him and Uma are, like... They so seem smitten. really locked off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. really surprised when he said, like, he's still open. What I observed of that relationship path was it wasn't really going anywhere at the beginning and then a few new bombshells came in and they just went... <laughs> and ever yeah. since, they've been... <laughs> which yeah. is me putting my hands together for all of the audio viewers. <laughs> yeah, and then it's gone from strength to strength. And then all of a sudden, he's chatting to Jesse. And then all yeah. of a sudden over here, he's assuming that he's getting coupled up with. Yeah. It, what's going on? What have we missed? I want to know what's happened because it felt like they were very much closed off. Like they were getting to that stage. I mean, did it feel like that in the villa? Yeah, I thought they were like going to be like in game. Well, I still feel like they are. Like I feel like it was just a little blip. But like, yeah, like he wasn't really like exploring anyone else. She yeah. was like really set on him. Like Connor wanted to get to know Uma and like she weren't really interested. Will kind of came in and made a beeline for Uma and they've kind of just been them two like ever since then really. So yeah, yeah when he was saying that to Jesse, it was a bit like... <laughs> Hold on, like objectively speaking, you've got a beautiful... Yeah, really beautiful. A beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. woman there and she is really into you why are you messing this up yeah. maybe it's and just I can a only case go of back options. to one thing geography yeah right? <laughs> 
for God's <laughs> Newcastle sake. Newcastle to London oh, is way too far. It's a tangled, tangled web in there. But I yeah. think on that note, we have come to the end of the podcast, sadly. Oh. Big ah, oh, like a pantomime oh. from everyone. Oh. Thank you to Kate Kerr for joining us. Thank you. Absolute legend. Thank you to Dumped Islander <laughs> Tiffany Layton. Oh, I promised I wouldn't say that again, but I had by accident. Make sure that you are subscribing, leaving nice comments in the comments section for us, and join us tomorrow where Amy Hart will be here instead of me because she's better and in every way. It's my last day. Oh. We'll leave it there.